afternoon we are in Fiji which is super 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 exciting we had a super early flight this morning and we've just been able to check into our hotel so we are staying at the Sofitel um, on Fiji's main island so just walking down to the pool and I thought I'd fill you in on um, a little bit to do with our flight so we flew here on Fiji Airways which we've never flown with them before <clears throat> and it was such a good flight like the even oh my god my voice is really going <coughs> Even like the um, way that the seats were configured, so it was like a 242 rather than like a 333, which was so much better because it meant that I didn't have anyone sat next to me, so that was good. Uh, and then we got the most unreal breakfast there. Like it was, um, we had waffles with berry compote and some custard and maple syrup. Like it was just a, such a good breakfast. Like it was refreshing to have good service again on a plane because I feel like since COVID, all of the airlines have really just like gone downhill and obviously they're trying to just cut corners and save as much money as possible so it was nice to have a little refreshing good experience cold huh <laughs> oh i was expecting that to be like up to your neck We are down at the pool. I am trying to not film anybody else because obviously I want to respect people's privacy. The water is freezing. We just ordered some drinks. We just got a margarita and I just got a what they called a summer spritz, which is it said it was Aperol vodka maybe and maybe if you're in my camera by the way right you're in my no you're not now I'm just like I'm assuming you don't want to be on the camera yeah so mine's like vodka aperol and then some other things to make it summery but yeah the pool is freezing but it's so nice that it was boiling outside so it's nice to just cool it down but yeah next time you see me drinking my hand living my best life can't wait <laughs> Cheers! We don't even have anything for you to wipe that with. Here's the towel. Ready for dinner and tonight we are doing a dinner on the beach which is basically a set menu which is all basically everything beef which is what Stephen and I both love. This is the dress and this is my mess from earlier but just cut my hair. I've got this really cute dress on which is quite formal but i figure if you can't wear it on holiday then where can you wear it we've got about 15 minutes i think till our reservation so we will head over in a moment and we were just saying that we hope that the mozzies aren't that bad here because we're going to be sat outside on the beach near the water which is obviously where the mozzies are most prevalent so fingers crossed for us but yes we'll take the camera with us tonight we'll vlog all of the food i think it's going to be really amazing tonight and this is probably actually one of the things i'm most looking forward to about being in pg so yeah see you there this is our dinner set up. We've got like, oh, actually it looks way nicer on the camera than it does in real life. Uh, this is like the tiny this last bit of the sunset. I wish that we'd have booked this for like maybe half an hour earlier because I reckon the sunset would have been unreal. But yeah, it's kind of just like all private. This is our menu, which I'm so excited about. This is like all of my favorite things. So we've got uh, a first course, beef carpaccio and beef tartare, literally two of my favorite things in the world. Black truffle essence, sounds unreal. Chicken liver pate, not for me, but Stephen will like that. Brioche bites sound good. The rest of that all sounds yummy. Second course is the ravioli. Again, everything there sounds yum. Third course, steak with truffle fries, one of my favorites. And then a heap of desserts as well. So there's just like so much going on. Hello. 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 How are you this evening? Cheers. Oh, oh my god salty <laughs> guys this is our first course and we've got this is the carpaccio tata chicken pate i've actually never tried chicken pate before but i don't think i like it i know it sounds stupid even though because i haven't tried it but it looks like something i wouldn't like some little brioche things and i don't know what these little white dots are but i think this is going to be delicious do you like it yeah yeah have you tried much of it yet or are you just trying the what did you think Good. Good. Okay. I'm going to give it a go. Mm. 
the carpaccio is more like um, just thinly sliced steak. Yeah. Oh, that's yum. Do you reckon I'm gonna like this chicken pate? All right. Oh, it doesn't look good. No. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That is not for me. Do you want it? Um, oh, oh my god, that is taste is lasting in my mouth. That would have been good to know before I just ate a lump of pate. <laughs> That's good pate. <laughs> it's disgusting. So aside from that chicken pate, which is not my thing, I tried it, I gave it my shot, not for me, I knew I wouldn't like it. The food has been so good so far, but I don't want to spend my whole evening vlogging, so I might just um, insert some clips of the food and then put the camera away so I can actually enjoy a nice, this is like such a romantic weekend with my weekend dinner with my boyfriend. So yeah. It is officially our first proper full day here in Fiji and we're just up to go and get breakfast. It's like a proper hotel. Um, buffet breakfast here so super excited to see what they have there then at 8 30 we are getting picked up to go on our boat trip we're basically doing an island hopping boat trip today so that should be super fun so just dressed for that already got bikini on underneath and super excited we go to castaway island i've never actually seen the movie castaway but we go to the movie where castaway was filmed and then we go to a couple of our islands as well so it'll be a day of like snorkeling and things like that i have heard that uh there's a lot of sharks in Fiji, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm sure it will be all good. This is what I've gone for, so I've got a, well, what I'm going to make a bacon sandwich with, and I know that that's a disgusting amount of ketchup, but I have to have a lot of ketchup, and I've got a fried egg, and I've just picked up this little yogurt. Um, there is so much to choose from there that I just don't have time to give it all a go today, but we're here for another couple of days, so that's all we've got. Steven got some, um, he managed to find pancakes and maple syrup, so that's what I want. And then he's got some fruit, so yeah, I'm gonna tuck right in and then we can get ready to go on our boat trip. Made it to our first little sandbar stop off. It's super windy, so I hope you can hear me. But let me just show you how clear the water is. And in a second, just about to jump in, do some snorkeling. I'm praying that we're allowed to take the drone up here because I think the drone footage would be amazing. But let me show you the, how blue this water is. So this is the setup. And then you might be able to see in the water there's all these little fishes swimming around the This is like something from a postcard. Incredible. We 
made it to our final island and I, I think, but I'm not sure that this might be Castaway Island. We're just having a little picnic. So here I've got a chicken, this is a chicken roll, chicken wing, some pineapple. I can't remember the name of this, but these two things are, I think are like Fijian dishes. This one he said it tastes like sweet potato and this one, I don't know what it is and it looks, I'm not sure about that one, but I will give it a try at least. But yeah, we've just made it to our final stop. After we've done lunch here, we will be going back to the main island. I'm not sure how long that will take us, but it literally looks incredible here. So before everyone comes and sits down, this is literally the island we're at at the minute. I think it's really fine for a private island at one that's there. We're just like about to stock up on their food. Yeah. Chicken roll is actually lovely. It's sorting out and we've got a wine to drink with it. Monriki, Monriki. Uh, as you all know, Monriki is uh, well known for that movie Castaway. Okay? Tom Hanks. Right. Uh, before we uh, all these tracks for bush walking around, I just want to explain about the island Monriki. Right. Monriki is uh, actually uh, and these two islands here are our second stop and uh, Monoriki, they are owned by a uh, village. There's a tribe in that village, the village is called Yania. And the tribe in that village is where Suli, the man with the yellow longboat, is from the tribe in that village. Okay. okay? So uh, Suli is always here every day on the island. He looks after the island and also uh, the guests that come over to the island every day. Okay? Uh, before they uh, come to the island, they have to go to the village first ask for permission and then they can come over to the island. For us, for us working with Cruising PG, we are related to the tribe in the village. My great grandma, she's from the tribe in the village. Mm -hmm. Back then, before she passed away, she got married to a village in the mainland. That's why we are able for us to come over without going to the island to ask for permission. When uh, he was on the island, he found some green coconuts. Okay? Then he came over and he chose this poor rock over here, started bashing the coconut, trying to open the coconut. Okay? So uh, over the years, this rock here hasn't grown. It's shrunken in size because every day people have been coming here trying to do the same thing on this poor rock here. Okay? And that's why we have lots of uh, coconut husks around. And if you look closely, you might see some hermit, hermit crabs. They love feeding on the coconut flesh. Okay? <coughs> You just drink straight from oh this God. straw. Yeah. Such a big one. <laughs> ah. We're back from our boat trip and we had the best day. It was so much fun. You would kind of compare a lot of, I feel like Fiji and Hawaii have like a lot of similarities. We've said it's very, very similar in that sort of sense, but the swimming today was really good fun. When we were swimming, right, also my head was under the water because we were snorkeling and I felt like I heard someone yell shark. So then I was like looking around trying to see, because I wanted to go swim to the shark, like I would have gone to try to find it. But anyway, no one else seemed to like be panicking or like looking around. So I just thought oh, maybe I'm just mishearing something. So we got back on the boat and I said to Stephen, like, I'm sure I heard someone yell shark. Anyway, later on in the boat, we overheard other people saying that they did see a big shark. So good to know that. But yeah, I wish we would have seen it. But Oh well, it was still such an amazing day. We are just out now watching the sunset, which is absolutely lovely. The view is unreal right now. Let me just flip you around really quick and show you. The plan now is once the sun has gone down, we're gonna go back to the room I need to have a shower because my hair, like, you know, when you've been in the salt water, my hair is like crispy. So I need to go and have a shower, wash my hair. We've got dinner booked tonight at 7.30. We're actually in the same restaurant that we had dinner in last night, but we're in the actual restaurant part tonight rather than like the private dining thing. So super excited for that. We picked up some snacks. So when we get hungry, we can just snack on them. But yeah, I haven't vlogged a lot today because obviously the boat was so loud like you wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway but i did get some drone footage and some gopro footage which you'll have already seen because i would have inserted that before this clip but yeah just thought i would check in with you guys before we go to dinner I need to start getting ready soon not wash my hair do my makeup all that boring stuff here is tonight's little starter i got beef tataki which i've never tried before super excited about that we've got some bread and the same dips that we had yesterday and then a lovely glass of wine and bug spray because i got eaten alive yesterday when we were outside but this looks so good i've even got some seafood mixture thing 
much. Yeah, not my vibe, but this looks good. Mains got scotch fillet with truffle sauce, dragon wise, and truffle fries. Yum, yum, yum. Gonna tuck in. Back in the hotel room now, finished dinner, and in true holiday spirit, we've decided to come to bed early because we've got another big day tomorrow. Today was a super big day, and we're just so tired. We've got our robes, hotel robes on. Yeah, just about to go to bed, so I thought I would just close off this evening and catch you again in the morning. Good morning, it is Sunday, it is our last full day here and today has really made me realise, I know that we always come on these super short holiday trips but the time just goes so quickly, like I wish we had some more time here because it feels like we have only just got here and we're pretty much like already leaving tomorrow afternoon so next time I think we'll just need a couple longer but yeah it's super early in the morning hence I'm still in my bathrobe but it's even still asleep so I've just come out to the balcony thought I'll just sit out here for a minute and just enjoy the view and the sun is rising and it's just lovely and peaceful I have been absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes like destroyed by them because obviously the places that we've been having dinner right they're all been set outside so I guess and they're right by the water so that's where mozzies are like so prevalent but yeah and yesterday actually we had we had bug spray on it didn't help at all so has made me a little bit worried for when we go to Zanzibar because the, the mosquitoes there are meant to be like really really bad and obviously you've got a risk of malaria there so that's scary so we have a little mixture of new things and old things that I'm trying so these things here are all the Indian section I don't know what any of them are we've got a veg veggie dumpling some sushi which seems so strange to be having all of this food for breakfast like I feel like I'm still coming to grips with the fact that in other cultures they eat hot like lunch or dinner food for breakfast got some potatoes I can't remember what this was called this I think was in the Asian section maple syrup and bacon pancakes which are basically delicious and then just a fried egg so yes this is what I'm about to tuck into ladies and gentlemen mala mala please bless welcome to paradise we made it to our little private cabana for the day. It's our full Robinson. And really, I think I must have literally done my name backwards in all of these things because even on hotel booking, they have you down as Robinson Millie really, rather than Millie really Robinson. Anyway, look at you. This is very nice. Oh, look. Are they coconuts or mangoes? Coconuts? Like, very exciting. What's that? Not the board. What about this? What is you? We made it to Mala Mala Beach Club and literally look at this. This is unreal. Like this is actually insane. The water is like crystal clear. We've taken the drone off already and like the whole like circle around the island is literally just completely crystal clear. It's so nice. We've got our own little private cabana. So that's cool. So I'm just like watching where I'm walking because there's quite a few stones in the sea. But yeah, we've got our own private cabana for the day with a butler service like I feel like we're living like kings. It's so nice. Like, I'm so appreciative that we can be here. And yeah, just look at this water. It's just amazing. There's also like a um, a pool here as well. We've not gone to check out the pool yet, but we've just ordered enough drinks. I reckon we'll wait till our, our next drink comes and then maybe go check out. I think it's an infinity pool as well, so I think it'll be well nice. But yeah, so excited. I'm very happy to be doing this on like our last proper day here in Fiji. Like, this is literally what you imagine tropical island paradise to be like. Like, I'm not sure how much you can see behind me, but like, it's insane. I've not seen anything like this. This is what I do imagine though when we go to Zanzibar. This is also what I imagine Zanzibar to be like, because <laughs> it's just insane. It's amazing. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on about how amazing this place is and actually just live in the moment and enjoy it a little bit.
just thought I would jump on super quickly and just sort of give you guys an update. So we are still at the beach club. We are still just in our cabana. Stephen's just coming out of the sea now. And my one complaint I would say, look, it's been amazing here today. Like the scenes are amazing. The place is amazing. Like everything looks so good. But the service has been so slow. Like bear in mind this cabana that we've paid for was like 350 Australian dollars, which like I think is quite expensive. Like it doesn't come with any food or drinks or anything like that. Like that's just the price to rent this cabana, which is quite a lot of money. And it comes with a, a butler is what they advertise it as. And we do have a butler, but the service is just really slow. And I don't know whether that's just because they're running to island time or like whatever it is, but we ordered the cocktails that we ordered took Firstly, we couldn't find the butler, so I wandered around for a little bit, couldn't find anyone. They gave us a phone that we can just ring in case the, the guy that's helping us isn't around. So I called that phone, like the number they told us to call. No one answered, tried five times, <laughs> couldn't get through. Eventually managed to get through and ordered these drinks. And then like come half an hour, 40 minutes later, I couldn't like, they still weren't here. So I thought, okay, right. Tried to started calling back and then somebody actually like, not our waiter, but somebody else came down and I was like, oh, hi, like, just wanted to let you know we're just wondering where our drinks are like we've been waiting for half an hour um and then he was like oh i'll go like so sorry like i'll go check and then maybe like another 20 minutes like just literally as soon as i started trying to call back to be like like what's going on like where are our drinks um our waiter did come back with them and he did apologize so that's fair enough but i just think for the amount of money that you spend to be on these little private cabanas the service should be faster because like we're paying for all of the drinks like none of these drinks are free we're paying for everything and they're not cheap so yeah that would be my only thing and i also feel like today has just gone so quickly like we got here at maybe 11 no it must not even be like maybe like half 10 we got here and it's already like what's the time two it's already 10 past two and i think our boat out of here is at like 5 15 or 4 15 i think it's 5 15 i think i booked a later one so the day's just going so quick and i think it's really dawning on us that we go home tomorrow but in exciting news we have been talking about where we're gonna go next year so that's super exciting but yes i will fill you in on that at a later date but yeah it's just super exciting to be planning feeling forever grateful that we have all of these opportunities to see amazing parts of the world Mm. Good. 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 It's not what I expected it to taste like. What did you expect it to taste like? I don't know, it's not that. final dinner in Fiji and tonight we are going our natural no makeup hair is natural and this dress that I have worn pretty much every holiday since I bought it um we are doing the so the same place that we've been going for breakfast where like the all you can eat buffet they do that for a dinner as well so that's what we're doing tonight we've got to be there in like a few minutes it's just in the hotel but yes this is the outfit just need to put some shoes on. We had the best day at the beach club, but I will fill you guys in on that probably tomorrow. Don't know if I'm going to bring the camera out with me to dinner, so you might see some footage and you might not. Guys, it's like six in the morning and there's literally the worst thunderstorm we have ever seen in our whole lives. It should probably be a flash so like oh my god, it's like an earthquake is happening. It's so loud. Good morning, we are on our final day in Fiji, which is so sad, but we're just sat by the pool chilling. I'm just about to read my book. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that actually before we go home. But it's currently like 11, what time is it? Yeah, it's currently like just before 11 o'clock and our flight's at four, so we've probably got to leave here at like 20, I think we're gonna leave at 20 past one. It takes about half an hour to get to the airport. And I'm actually so sad because we're flying home with Jetstar and the flight here with Fiji Airways was so good. 
that I'm really, really not looking forward to this flight home with Jetstar. It's also five hours on the way home, which seems like such a long time, but we've literally had the best time here. It's been like the perfect short break. Like it was a really short trip, but it was perfect. Obviously this morning, you might have already seen, I put that small clip in of um, the thunderstorms last night. Well, not even last night, they were this morning. It insane. Like the storm must have literally been going right over the hotel because the lightning and then the thunder was like at the same time. So obviously that means that the storm's really close to you. But yeah, it was crazy. Like it woke both of us up at six. We did manage to fall back asleep, but I've never, ever, ever heard a storm like that. But yeah, so far Fiji has been amazing. We'll definitely come back at some stage. Like I would put it on the, I mean it would be on the back burner for now there's loads of other places that I want to go to first but we we'll definitely come back and we we'll definitely recommend it to, for people that want to come here and I also would say we've been told that it was like super 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 expensive and I don't think it was that bad I imagine look I imagine if you're here for like two two weeks then yeah it's, it's an expensive trip what was your favorite part of our little trip to Fiji um, I'd say the boat the boat like cruise through the island yeah which island? Which which stop was your favourite? Um, the one that we were jumping off with the crystal kind of blue. I jumped off the boat. Yeah, that was quite cool. And then my favourite part. Let me flip this back around. Uh, my favourite part of the trip. I feel like I really enjoyed the beach club yesterday. Aside from the service, the service was really slow, but actually being there was really nice like the way that we were set up it was so private and i just had a really good time so yeah anyway they're reading something over the loudspeaker now so i'm gonna put you down and chat to you later